And here's a simple test you can do just by sitting in a chair. This will help to determine which side of your groin and glutes is tightest. Simply cross one ankle over the opposite knee, press down on the knee and test for flexibility. You can also see how high that knee is off the floor relative to the opposite side to determine which side is tighter. Switch to the other side, and as you can probably see, my right side's tighter than my left. So that problem tells me I've got an issue in my groin uh, and in my glute. But first of all, you need to lay the left side down. You just take the straps and place them against the Velcro. You don't have to add a lot of tension there because that's not the side that we're correcting right now. Do the same thing for the upper strap. Now the left side is set and ready to go. And now we work on the problem side. The first thing that we do, we take the pelvic strap, pull it across, apply the Velcro with a lot of force, and then that allows the pelvis to actually drop back into its neutral position. So each time you apply the Velcro, you add more influence to your strapping system. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the leg and I'm actually going to rotate it internally to activate those muscles that'll help support my hip, low back, knee, ankle, and foot. Very simple, to reach underneath, make sure that the legs, are, our feet are straight ahead, the legs are in a neutral position, slightly bent from the knee, pull up on the Velcro with a good amount of force, and then let the Velcro attach, and now the leg feels like it wants to turn to the inside. That's a really good sign, because what that shows me now is that you've activated those muscles that are critical in supporting the health of your low back, hip, knee, ankle, and foot.